Hey everybody, it's Tim from Full Spectrum Laser and today I'm going to walk you through turbo mode. Now in the past we did a brief kind of walkthrough tutorial telling you what turbo mode is. It's basically a way to make your laser uh, go a little bit faster in terms of the gantry speed, so the motor speed. So um, it's really, really simple to get it working. So first thing we got to do is we got to get a file in here. So I'm just going to import something really quick. Where is it? There it is. So the reason I'm choosing this file is this is the one that I did. Um, this is a file that I did on turbo mode. So uh, I actually have footage of the machine running on, at turbo mode, which I'll show towards the end. So since we're just doing a vector cut for this, uh, I'm going to delete the raster data. And so we're just left with the cut itself. Now if we go, whoops, if we go down right here and we highlight this, it says range 1 to 100. That's your speed. That's how fast the laser head is going to move. Uh, it's 1 to 100. That's standard. But it turns out the motors are actually capable of going faster. We limited it to this 100 because that's kind of the best average top speed for files to keep the quality within a uh, you know, satisfactory range. Um, but it really depends on the file, and we didn't want to um, hard limit the machine if it has capability to go faster. Someone might have use for a faster laser head motion. So we added turbo mode. And to turn it on, it's really, really simple. All we have to do is go up to settings here. We're going to tab over to laser. And down here, it says enable turbo mode. It says when turbo mode is used, higher speed acceleration values are utilized when running jobs only. Uh, additionally, speed settings for both raster and vector can be set above the normal 100, 1 to 100 range, up to 1,000. We're going to see that here in just a second. So we're going to click it, hit Save Changes. And we get an error down here. It's basically telling us to refresh the browser and restart the unit. Um, it's kind of like when you enable rotary mode. Um, we're not going to worry about that at the moment, but if you are running jobs, it will probably be in your best interest to restart your machine after you set up uh, turbo mode. Now, if the first thing you'll notice is the play button. The run job button is replaced by our little turbo mode emblem up here. It's got a few arrows with some flames coming off of it. Um, not because your projects are going to be on fire, but because you're going to be moving pretty fast. So now when we go over to speed, you can see now it says 1 to 1,000. Um, now 1 to 100, our normal range, you'll notice that the numbers stay white, but as soon as we go over that, they're yellow. So that kind of will tell you that this particular speed setting is above the normal range and you're going to be using turbo mode. So 100 is the exact same speed that 100 would be if turbo mode were off. So this is the highest speed you can typically go. Now you can do twice that with 200, which is, I believe, what I ran this file at, which we'll see in just a bit. Uh, or you can do 10 times that at 1,000. Um, now just keep in mind, the faster you go, the more detail you're probably going to lose. You might get a little bit of jitter. Um, but what turbo mode is really good for is if you need to do a bunch of maybe very simple shapes, um, maybe like some coasters, and you need to do a lot of them, it will save you tons of time if you run it on turbo mode. So uh, you're still going to want to account for your power and current settings accordingly. So if you're going twice as fast, you might need to up the power. Um, just keep in mind that it's not going to have the laser on the material for quite as long since it's moving faster. So you might want to up the power a little bit. So with paper, um, 25 is pretty good. Um, that might even be good for the 200 speed. Um, we might up it to like 30 or so just for the sake that it's going to be going really fast. It's also going to depend on your wattage. Um, Right now, you can see I'm on our Pro Series 48 by 36 that's out in the uh, warehouse. So 
that's a I believe 120 watt 150 watt so we probably won't even need 30 to get through paper even at 200 speed So turbo mode is really that simple. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, just post them in the comments or send a message to our Facebook. We always get those, and we are always reaching back out. So just keep that in mind. And until next time, guys, keep making.